Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to present you the best alternatives to Trello that you can use for your project management or as a productivity tool. Now I'm not paid by any of the tools or competitors that I'm going to show you right now, but I'm asking you to do one thing. If you could share down below in the comments like why do you want to leave Trello or why you want to why are you looking for alternative? And the second thing is that um, like what are you actually looking for because it's completely different and different project management tool if you're alone or if you're working with five ten people let's say in that way you need to uh, in that moment you need to have different project management uh, for you because like different project management it's suitable for different kind of people so let's just start i'm not going to talk that much about what i ask from you i'll just decide what you like right so the first one i prepared for you is to do is it's more so i don't know if i could like name it as a project management it's more productivity tool um what i like about to do is simplicity so if you're using trello as a, let's say productivity tool to do is a really good option that you can like simply create projects here I have YouTube here, I can have it as a Kanban, I can view it as a list, so I can view it as a board and I can simply then add tasks. It's really effective, simple. So this is how to do this works. Uh, the disadvantage is that it's not that complex as Trello, thanks to, because on Trello you can have those all those applications that you can use, in to do this you don't have it. Then the next one we have Notion, Notion is Top notch for me from project management and also productivity tool. I was for a long time I was really against Notion and I will explain you why. Only because I said Notion is too complicated. But if you're gonna learn how to master Notion, you can easily use it as an effective tool for project management and also productivity tool. The one thing I really like is that how complex you can make it. You can make it that complex in Trello, in ClickUp, in Monday.com, even in Asana, even in Airtable, because you can do one thing which I love about Notion. Yes, it's effective, it's simple, yada yada, of course, but it's simple yet the learning curve is a little bit higher, but you can make it simple if you want to. So let's say I have a task here. This is, this is what is like so mind blowing for me. I can simply add, like, let's say this is like financial results or let's say income reports for my company. And let's say it's like, okay, in most of the tools, what you can do is just simply uh, start writing here the description. In Notion, I can have my own, let's say task or something as page income reports for my company. It can be presented as a task or it can be presented as just like uh, something important and I can just go slash and right here Kanban or how it's called let's go not Kanban I can simply add board sorry so I can add income report for my company next board let's say that I'm going to delete it, the board and what I'm going to do is just add a table in line and voila, I can simply add just all the stats here necessary and I have it right here in this thing. And then what I could do is to add the properties or add the new things. Look at this number, click on the number and have it as a new page, like page in a page in a page inception. So this is why Notion is like epic. And if you want like Notion, definitely check it out. The next one I prepared for you, Asana. Asana, on the other hand, is perfect in that way how effective it can be. What do I mean by that? With Asana, what you can achieve is simplicity, yes, yet effectivity. What do I mean? Is that with Asana, you're going to have uh, simple things as a list, boards, timelines, calendar, dashboard, messages, forms, files, and it's really effective how you can use it because you just simply add a task, and uh, like most of the people I know, they like the most Asana and Notion, how simple it was. Click up Monday.com and Airtable was a little bit more complex for them. With Asana, you got everything covered. So choose Asana and they're gonna, that's going to be a, a good thing. Then we have Airtable. Airtable is a little bit, let me show you, is a little bit more complex. So you can do more things comparing to Asana, even comparing to Trello. I can simply add here, add a table. So you got the space, the workspace, then you got tables and then you got views here. So you can simply create a view on the left bottom form, 
calendar, gallery, Kanban, Gantt, so many things, right? And I can start writing records here. It's a little bit more complex even comparing to Asana, but maybe that's something you need. Working with themes, I would go with Asana and Airtable and also with Notion, but with Notion, uh, your people need to actually say that, okay, I like working with Notion. Then when you go further, we're going to have ClickUp here. ClickUp is a great tool that you can use, but it's with Monday.com is the most complex that you can should use. Like uh, when I click here, add a view and I can add list, board, calendar, Gantt, box, timeline, table, mind map even, workload of people, activity, map, doc chat, amped. So uh, this is something, uh, as you can see, that is a little bit more comp comprehensive. You can simply add a new task. You can add comments. Uh, you can add formulas, plenty of things you can add that you actually can't use and can't add in Trello. But again, it can be really effective for you if you want it. So click up, definitely check it out. The next one I prepared for you is Monday.com. Monday.com is like brother to click up what you can actually do with it. So you come here and you can simply add a view and you got plenty of views here and it's like damn complex. For example, for my business, I don't need Monday.com or ClickUp. For me, Notion and Excel, even Excel is just like enough because my project management with my employee is simple. So I don't even need Asana. Maybe even Trello would be enough for me. But it really depends what are your reasons and what are you looking for. Like if you're looking for mind map and complex project management or productivity tool, you should go with a ClickUp. If you want just simple project management, I would go with Asana. If you want something more complex, but you don't like ClickUp, you should go with the Airtable or Monday.com. So you really need to test a lot which suits you the best because it doesn't matter. L listen to this. It doesn't matter what project management you use. It's about how effective you can use it and how effective you can manage your time. God damn. So that's something you should definitely keep in mind. Now, Monday.com, also really effective. They got plenty of templates that you can use. And the next one I just wanted to share with you is Zoho Projects. This is my like really favorite tool only because not the Zoho project itself, but the whole ecosystem of Zoho. What you can do is actually connect Zoho uh, projects with the whole ecosystem, Zoho Mail, Zoho Inventory, if you Zoho Sprints, whatever, Zoho CRM, if you need that. And it's going to be like really good and really effective. So that's something you can definitely do. And I would recommend like checking it out and using it if you want to. And then the last one I prepared for you is a choir or queer. And queer is really simple yet effective tool that I like. So a queer choir, I don't know how to read that. What do you do? You simply click plus here. You can invite member or add task. You can see it as a Kanban board or tree. On left top side, you come here, you can simply click workspaces. You can add a new workspace if you want. So that's something you can do. And that's something really effective. Now, uh, when we go further to summarize this whole video, what you should do and what you should focus on. The biggest alternative to choir is choir, uh, to Trello is choir, to Doist. Then I would go with uh, Asana and Notion. Todoist and Choir are really simple, effective, not only for productivity, but also for project management, just simple for you and someone else. Then we're going to have Asana, which is also good for uh, more people. Notion 2, you can use it as for yourself or with someone. Then we have Monday.com here and Airtable and ClickUp, which are more complex comparing to the others. And then we have Zoho Project, which can be also really effective and really like so thank you very much guys for watching if you're gonna have any questions ask me down in comments i'm really happy to help you and yeah thank you very much have a great day and goodbye see ya